Hello, welcome to this game. Oh, let's try that again. Okay, the Famicom Disk System. Classic stuff. Yumi Kojo. Or Yumi Koju Doki Doki Panic. I don't know actually how to pronounce that, but. That's what the game's called. It translates roughly to something like um, Adventure in Nightmare Land or Dream World or Family Dream Heroes or something along those lines. I read it, I looked it up. Um, basically these two kids were kidnapped by this monster in a book named Wart. A monkey runs off to find help. These four heroes come in. Family of heroes. Insert side B. So now we should be able to hit start. There we go. There we go. So now we have four characters, just like. Um, well, first I want to note that in the in the in the English version, it's called the game is called Nero too, because they did a switch to Swaparu which you can read about on the mushroomkingdom.net if you haven't heard about it. But we never knew what the left page of this book looked like, only the right page of the book. I'll get into that later. Anyway, so we have the mother, the father, the sister, and the brother. They all have names, I think. But their abilities are the same as they are in Mario games, except that the son here is Mario, the sister here is Princess, the mother here is actually Luigi's abilities, and, and Toad is the father. So I'm going to play as Toad. Um, let's see what I mean about the last page and the right page of the book. Um, anyway, one of the major differences is you can't change characters between levels. You'll see it kind of saves your progress with the green bars, like Luigi or the mother has the first world completed there. Um, so after I read a couple worlds with, with Toad here, I'm going to be calling him Toad just because I don't know, it's easier. Um, so yeah, we can switch to different characters at the end of each world. Not level, but world. But the progress doesn't transfer, of course. And the sound effects sound a little different. But one thing I want to mention is that you might have seen this video up on my channel, or at least the first episode of this game up on my channel, about a week or two ago. But I was having major audio video desync issues, like the audio was playing either five seconds ahead of the video or five seconds behind that video. I was having major, major problems and it turned out I couldn't fix them. So this is me now playing the entire game over again from the beginning. So I've already played the game and recorded it at 100%, but I now have to start over with a completely different setup. It's a little frustrating for me. I'm, all, I also, I'm also working in Castlevania 3 at the moment. I don't know if it'll be up when I'm going to upload that. It might be up now, it might not be up for a few weeks, but I'm recording it at this time. My plan was to do this first and then that, but of course the plan has changed. Oh, there was a 1-up. It's the guy's face instead of a 1-up mushroom. But yeah, there's tons of resources where you can find all the differences between the two games. I'm not going to really mention a lot of them, like the cherries here are different, but I'll try not to be too overwhelmed with facts and just have fun with it here. Like the shortcut on the left here is the same. Um, the other thing that you've probably read in the sidebar by now is I'm going to do a challenge run where I get all the health power-ups. All the mushrooms or in this game they're hearts, obviously, just like the potions or magic lamps. This is kind of like an Arabian theme. Um, so that's, I'm going to challenge myself to get all those. Also kind of just show off all their locations. Because some of them are very well hidden and a little tricky to get to. So it takes a little bit of more of effort and work to get them all. It does make the bo boss fights a bit easier, but they weren't that hard to begin with. So, Obviously, Luigi is going to get that way. Yeah, I'm used to playing with Luigi just because, well, first of all, I'm a Luigi fan to begin with. Second of all, he's the best jumper in this game. 
I like him. I don't like Princess at all. Like, she is really amazingly powerful with that hover, but I don't like her. I'd rather have Luigi's consistent, you know, high jumping arc than the Princess's straight hover. Just, I don't know, it's my style. But so playing with Toad, I guess, is a bit of a challenge, too. Even though he is a very, very strong character. Like, he can, his pick up and throw are very, very fast. And may not be noticeable, but. Those sound effects are strange. Now that may just be my copy of the game. I think I don't think these sound effects were supposed to be different. I think they were supposed to be unchanged, it's, but my copy seems to playing feel, playing them differently. Oh well. Yeah, the, the first in my first recording of this game, the sound effects from the Birdo were didn't sound like that. And the color palette's a little bit off in my first recording too, but I guess you don't know that. I think only, I think I took it down after about an hour or two of being out. Like a few people commented or personal messaged me, hey, you know, there's really bad audio to sync this video. You should take it down and fix it. So, sadly I couldn't fix it, as you can tell. But I'm doing pretty good here so far. I may not upload one video a day like I normally do, because... Uh-oh, that, that was a mistake, I should have kept going. I made it. Yeah, it's weird that this guy looks so much like Mario, even though it has Toad's abilities. Just because he's the oldest and he's, you know... Yeah, Toad's really good at getting coins like that. Um, well, yeah, I'm pretty sure there was a warp there if you entered one of these pipes. Well, in subspace, I think that that warps you ahead. I guess that's one of the things that was the same as the other game. The faces are different, of course, but again, there's lots of test resources to look up the mechanics of the game and how things work and stuff like that. Let's see if I can take this guy out. First thing. Oh, I can't. Okay. If I can get this bomb in here. Damn. Because so I wanted to bomb that wall down there in the middle, straight below me here. So that lets you get the moth room through a different path. Um, but this method works too, just. Oh crap! I went off screen before the bomb exploded and it didn't work. Good thing we have one extra. So stay on the screen for it to explode. There we go. Yeah, this wall blocks it off from the ladder, but let's just get it this way. Good stuff. 100% so far. I'm going to try not to get my head of myself and talk about things that I did in the last recording. Yeah, in my first recording I had something like 22 lives when I got to Wart, and I died a couple times and ended up, ended up beating him with not too much trouble. Didn't miss any health power-ups, so I did pretty good, I must say. I don't know if I'll do better or worse this time around. I just spent three hours today trying to recompressing this, these videos over and over again, trying to get one of them to work, but in the end, as you can see, I obviously gave up and I'm recording this, so I promise I'm done complaining about that. Next video will just be full of gaming fun. I love the coins in this game. You get like one life for every five coins instead of having to collect up to a hundred. So nice. Now with, with Luigi and Princess, you can make this jump, but I don't think you can with Toad's equivalent. That's okay. And we're at nine minutes, so I'm gonna pause here and uh, I'll just double check this video. <laughs> so if you're watching this, obviously it worked. Otherwise, I'll have to trash it. And if it if it doesn't work, but here's hoping.